William, William, ven, 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 William, se hizo. Just before four o'clock in the afternoon, Marvin Badia, a young carpenter, was working when he heard a strange buzzing that distracted him from his work. To his intense amazement, the young man saw that the source of the noise was about a hundred meters away from him. I was shaping this table here outside. It was very cloudy. I looked up and saw some sort of object. It was very bright. I looked at it carefully and took out my mobile phone. I saw that it was giving me time to film it, so I started to record. I called my colleague, who was working with the drill, but he didn't hear me. I called him again. I turned towards him, moving the phone, and when I turned back, the object had already gone. The film that Marvin recorded shows a classic flying saucer hovering just a few meters from the ground. His colleague, William Rivera, didn't hear Marvin shouting over the noise of the drill he was using. Thus, he missed the extraordinary spectacle. William! William, man, man, man. William! William Rivera assures us that Marvin was quite shaken. No, he wouldn't calm down. He was still very, very worked up. You see, I believe that this was a UFO. I have no doubt it wasn't man-made. And why was it here? We don't know. The movements that the craft makes, and its appearance, prove that it could not have been a conventional earthly vehicle. According to Marvin's description, the object was about as large as the wheel of a large tractor. It wouldn't have been large enough to hold a normal-sized person. Oscar Sierra, the ufologist from Costa Rica, explains his theory to the Teletica journalists. It's not necessarily a driven object. It could be some sort of probe, like those that human beings sent to Titan not long ago, which were small, about two meters. William! William, man, man, man! William!